When kids are, are shaken, when kids are abused during these moments, you know, the consequences are dire. Even unintentional child abuse can end up in felony charges for parents. You'll be shocked how often um, these things occur. Um, not just here locally, but just nationwide, worldwide. It's something IMPD child abuse investigator Stephen Gwen Jr. sees firsthand too often. The child, and when you do those things, they could have severe brain damage, they could have mental retardation issues, they could have things like blindness, or worst case, which happens a lot more than people think, they could die. Right now, Brandon Herring of Indianapolis is locked up, accused of a deadly case of child abuse against his four-month-old son. And Kylie Leitenberger of Shelbyville was charged with battery, accused of causing catastrophic injuries to her seven-week-old. She told investigators she acted out of frustration when her baby wouldn't stop crying. If you are alone there and you've reached that point, there's nothing wrong with placing the child somewhere safe, like if it's a baby, put them in the crib, for example, and walking away for a few minutes. Gwen says people need to know there are resources. We want to provide safe environments for children um, and to stabilize the family so that um, they can be self-sufficient. At the Children's Bureau, they say prevention is a huge key. This might mean working with families to understand underlying challenges or even providing education. Sometimes it's just um, uh, skills related to parenting because we're breaking a cycle. Oftentimes we are breaking a cycle. The Children's Bureau is just one of the resources available to parents to help with the basic needs to prevent a situation from reaching a critical and even dangerous point. The goal here is to try to do everything we can to protect these children. Authorities say it's okay to phone a friend and have someone stay with you and your child while you get some rest. But for those without somebody to lean on, services like the Children's Bureau provide resources and caseworkers who can help guide you in the right direction and understand any underlying challenges or stressors. For now, reporting in the newsroom, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. This year alone, the Indiana Department of Children and Families says its Child Services Hotline received more than 133,000 reports just in the first seven months of the year. They remind all Hoosiers that it is mandatory to report any suspected case of child neglect or abuse in Indiana, no matter what your relation or role is to that person. Yeah, it takes all of us yeah. to protect our children. If you suspect even the slightest thing, it's always better to speak up and at least get someone to check it out. You can always remain anonymous. The number that you should call is on the bottom of your screen. It is monitored and answered 24-7.